Okay, so today we caught the bus to Albania and I had it on good authority that we could get a bus to a town called Korcha and then from there it would be really easy to catch a little bus to the town that we wanted to go to on the coast. So we were like, okay, great, we got a bus at 9am to Korcha, got off the bus and then we were like, okay, cool, we'll just like find a connecting bus, that's easy to do. Walked around a bit, hmm, walked into the little bus ticket place. No one could really speak that good English. A local kind of told me in Italian that the bus is tomorrow at 6am, but we were like, surely there's more buses than that. Turns out, nah, there aren't. So we're just standing there freaking out, uh oh, what are we gonna do now? Like, we don't have data on our phones. No one really seems to speak that much English. Also, the buses here are like, just minivans with signs on the front. You just kind of like get on and hope for the best. Anyway, this guy comes up to us and we're a bit wary. We're like, oh, who are you? Why are you talking to us? He was like, oh, I run a hostel. Um, do you need any help? Like, you can just come back to my hostel and like, He's a nice guy, but obviously my my brain was like, maybe don't follow this random guy like through side streets of this town you've never been to. But anyway, we followed him and he took us back to this hostel and we're not getting murdered and it's a really nice place and he brought out tea and then brought out rakia or raki which is the spirit and then beer and now we're having food and there's a pet turtle and a pet cat. And so, yeah, we're just gonna stay here until 6 a.m. tomorrow when we can get the mini bus to the coast. So this is Rocky, which is very potent liquor. You distill it yourself? Hmm? You make it yourself? Yeah, friend. It's a chemist. Uh -huh. Actually, he's really interesting because it's a, it's a policeman, a cop. Oh. <laughs> he, quit, he quit his job to become a, a Rocky maker. Amazing. A Rocky producer. And it's just put into these plastic bottles. The side. Ah, uh, that's how you know. So you don't <laughs> accidentally drink it thinking it's water. And we can't really handle how strong it is, so we're having it with beer as a chaser. Yeah, that just goes to show that Albanian hospitality is really, really good. Now we're just going to walk around the town of Korcha and explore the streets and see what's going on. I mean, it's a pretty small town, so it's going to take like 10 minutes to walk from one side to the other. But it looks like there's some cute little cafes and squares and there's like an old bazaar and a church. And Also, this is Ashley. Hi. We met in Greece and we hung out for a few days and then now we're just in Albania together. So yeah, hopefully heading to the coast tomorrow. Fingers crossed we can get on that bus. I really hope so. Yeah. So we're walking around the back streets of this town and just the residential areas and the buildings are a very strange mix of different types of architecture like there's one villa that looks like it should be on the beach in Florida and then there's this like super modern building behind me which like looks like it's just been built and then there's this one up here with all these like fancy balconies it's like are we in New Orleans? It's such a weird mix of things. It's like a Sims neighborhood where a bunch of people just like built houses that they wanted to build but didn't really think about how it would look with everything else. And it's awesome. It makes it really, really interesting to walk around and everything is painted really nice, bright colors and it's, it's really cool. I didn't, didn't expect this from a small random Albanian town, but yeah. Red carpet and I walk on it. If you're thinking it's a bluff, call it. If you're really into love, want it. I love a menu with pictures, so I know what I'm getting even if I can't read the language. So I knew Albania was cheap, but oh my god, so that's like less than two euros. Like, that's like one euro. This place is great. Five euros for a huge plate of chicken and chips. Good stuff. 
So tonight we've come to the house of a woman who lives across the street from the hostel. She lives, um, she's been living in this village like her whole life and she is showing us how to make a traditional Albanian pie with like spinach and cheese in the middle. Um, and she's been, she's worked in a bakery for like 40 years. So she is the expert. So I am ready to learn and I'm ready to eat. This is like village, village eggs. And, uh, and, uh. So this filling that we made is with spinach, eggs and yogurt, but you can also do it with meat or you can fill it with like tomato and onion. The dough is made with heaps and heaps of butter and it's rolled out super thin and then used as a base and then the filling goes on top and then more dough goes on top of that. And just because that probably wasn't enough food, we made a sweet one as well, which was the same dough, just basically heaps of different layers of the same dough filled with sugar and cinnamon and then topped with heaps and heaps of butter and then baked. And it was so good. Okay, I'm in a huge food coma now. I ate so much of that pie, but it was so delicious. I'm like, what a cool experience to just like go into this woman's kitchen and watch her make it. She's been making it for 40 years, so she's an expert. During communist time, she actually worked in one of the kitchens and they had to make 500 of those giant pies a day. 500, that's so much rolling. I feel like your arms would be so strong. Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning and we're going to get our bus finally the time has come but you know i'm actually kind of glad we were stopped here in this little town for a night it was really cute it's a place i never would have gone otherwise we we got to do some cool things like that cooking class was really cool like we, we, we wouldn't have been able to do that anywhere else and explore this really weird town which i really liked yeah not too bad not too bad <laughs> it could have ended worse so yesterday when we came here to figure out how to get the bus, there were buses everywhere and it was really loud and there were all different signs and it was a bit like, oh my god, how are we going to find this bus? But this morning it's a lot more calm. There's like two different buses, we found the one we need, we've put our bags in, we've got our coffee, feeling on top of things again. And this is what buses in Albania look like, just random mini buses, got to find the right sign. So this one says Jirokastra. We're going to Saranda, but I'm pretty sure that it goes on to Saranda from Jirokastra, hopefully. Mm -hmm. 